steering wheels tab of the option dialog box. Let's go up to our application menu, go to options, and let's go to our steering wheels tab. On the top we have text visibility area. Uh, so in the basic wheels, these are the really small uh, steering wheels, uh, we want to show the tool messages or we want to show the tool tips or we want to show the tool cursor text. And remember, these things are small. They're little pizza wedges. And you're probably not going to remember which each one of these little colors are. So I think you need to have all these on. When it's a big steering wheel, you can have it as normal size, or you can have it as large if you want, or smaller. And you can set the opacity. Um, I like to be able to see through it. So if you're going to set it for even more, that'd be OK. But I don't like it to be opaque and or at 25. That's a little tough. Uh, the mini wheels. Uh, you can have those being small or normal. Uh, since they are small, you probably like them that way. And again, opacity being, uh, you know, uh, somewhere about 50% is good. Uh, the look invert tool. The look tools, you know, to look in somewhere. Uh, we don't generally want to screw this up or go backwards. Um, so the, you know, we want to keep it normal behavior. When we're walking, when we're doing an animation by walking, it's like we're walking through a building, like a walkthrough tour of a building. We want to have the the camera parallel to the ground plane. So typically, we want to be at uh, uh, five foot four in height, uh, the average height of a human eyeballs, basically, and we want to move that along uh, at that elevation. The speed that we move the camera along at is set to 3. Um, this is kind of a vague from 0.1 to 10. Uh, slow or fast. We tend to like to move things slow in animations. So it's going to go on the slower end down here. You can kind of think of this as like 3 feet per second. Doesn't always equate to that, but that's a good judge to start with. The zoom tool, when we roll our mouse wheel, uh, it'll be one increment with each mouse click. Um, you know, that uh, you can do that if you want that preciseness, if you like, or not. The orbit tool, when we spin our model around uh, in any direction, uh, Revit will always keep the scene upright. That's kind of good because when I'm flipping my house around, I don't really want to look with the bottom side up or look, you know, having the uh, the basement floor up sticking up in the air. Uh, so it will automatically keep everything upright, which is kind of good because you don't get discombobulated that much. Uh, within, if you have any doubts, you can always restore the defaults and put everything back to normal. Um, so steering wheels, uh, you can control all the steering wheels here in the options. Uh, the steering wheel tab in the options dialog box.